Welcome to RP Gamepire. I'm David. I'm Julie. So now we're going to do the playthrough of a new wander story, The Cult of Barnacle Bay. So a friend of ours sent us this game for us to do the playthrough video, mm -hmm. and if you haven't had a chance, the how to play. And the review. And the review. So this, I looked it up and I was wondering, why didn't I back this Kickstarter when it first came out? And, and why I, didn't we? Well, I figured it out. I, I backed the Conan All In pledge. And for anybody who knows when that happened, it was like, a I think, a seven-day or a 14-day oh, yeah. uh, Kickstarter. And it cost a lot of money. It was cost more than Joan of Arc and wow. Mythic Pantheon. So I didn't have enough money to get this. So that gives you an idea that this is probably something, now that we played it, we would have backed. Yeah. So that's a little heads up on the review. <laughs> All right, so the object of this game is it's cooperative, and the story is, just to make sure I get it right, uh, Barnacle Bay was a peaceful fishing, fishing village, and an evil cult leader, Elder Bane, took it over and mutated the, the uh, people in the village, so we're there to take him out. And, uh, and we're part of the Wanderers Guild, a group of adventurers tasked with protecting the realm, who have sent their five bravest heroes to put a stop to Elder Bane and save Barnacle Bay. So we are playing the first scenario. Okay. Which I will show you here in the book. Okie dokie. So when you, you look at the scenario book, I'm sorry, campaign book, and you can do one shots. It shows, shows you how to set up the scenario, but the rule book shows you how to also have a setup. Here's more story here and more story. <laughs> And the object right here, I'll show you on my camera, okay. is to defeat all enemies and reach the end token, all right. which you'll see here. We have the above board set up. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, this took us a little bit to figure out what this meant. Yeah. This side flips over to right here. So the, this board here, it's all one piece, will flip over to this side. Mm -hmm. This piece, which is we're coming out of the sewer grates, will flip over to this side. So uh, when does a basically uh, encounter one, when is it cleared? Because you can't go down the ladder. You'll see that the ladder is over here. We can't go down the ladder until we've explored all, all darkness spaces that Elder Bane has cast. There could be encounters in there, which is right here. There could also be uh, treasure uh, chests like right here. We know this is a treasure chest. Right. And so here are the spawning points. So uh, we picked our characters. Now we're only playing with two characters. They recommend four, but if I show you in the rule book here, if you do play with two, you get uh, more tre uh, healing potions. Because when we tried this out, we were able to win with two. Yes, we were. So if you only play with two heroes, you get two potions to divide uh, how you see fit. So that's why you see here on my area, I have, that's, well, that's your my area. area. This so is you mine. have a treasure. Uh, so you're playing Flynn, yes. who has a crossbow. So each, Finn's a ranger. Oh, Finn. Mm -hmm. So each character has starting equipment. We start out with zero experience. If you're playing the campaign, you would keep your experience from one uh, scenario to the next oh, okay. in the campaign. Oh. And so we start out at level zero here. Yeah. We'll go over their abilities in a minute. Here's my guy, I'm playing Tank. He comes with a hammer as a starting gear and a shield. So right here, for instance, it's, you got to find it in the rules, but offhand means it goes in your other hand. And some gear will have two hands, which means you, could, you would have to put it in the middle here. It takes two hands to wield, wield it. And so I have a potion. I don't have, we don't have any other items on us right now. Nope. And so here we are starting at the grate on the start tile. Uh, again, we have to clear the enemies, which we're going to generate now. So how many uh, enemies do you spawn? It's the number of characters you play plus one for the number of large tiles. So we have one large tile here. Mm -hmm. So we spawn here. And here we are using our component collector. We spawn two grunts. And it's from the closest spawn area, and then it goes clockwise. So two grunts. And these will be worth one experience each if we defeat them. And they have a melee attack three health and one defense. Okay, the next one we spawn, because we've got to do three of these, is another grunt, which will go right here near the ladder that we got to get to. And then, uh, so let me make sure I add that into the initiative area here. Okay. Okay, because then we shuffle them up and do it randomly. Right. 
And then here is our third spawn card. Did we get another grunt? Two more grunts. Oh, same as last night. Yeah, and again, I shuffled them and up. And right here, too. Don't we do no, one No, no. This is here if there's a... Well, let me show it on the... This is here for playing with more characters. So if we were playing with four characters, oh. you would spawn this one. Okay. And then you go back to this one again. Oh, my gosh. And then you can have up to four small characters in a spot. If you have uh, one of these guys, you can have two of those. So this would be full. Oh, my goodness. Because you have two small and one of that. And then you have bosses that take up the whole space. But we're not going to be dealing with that. Oh, good. Okay. So there's things that we didn't get. We didn't get a caster. Okay. He has a ranged attack or an archer, which might come up later. Because when we uncover darkness, we might get events and uh, spawn more creatures. So knowing this, we have <clears throat> three things. We have to do initiative track. We have one for tank and one for fin. And then I have here for the grunt. So I shuffle them up. And this will determine the initiative order for the very start of the game here. Now if I show you right here, we have four morale. That's the starting morale. Every time one of us loses full health, so you'll see here on my character card, I have five health, two defense dice, two knowledge dice, which we might have to deal with when we encounter things. Uh, you'll see that I have, I guess it's really small text. I'm even, it's going to be hard to show you on camera here, but I'll show it. There you go. Yeah. And there's something that I do when I'm doing a, a defense and something when I do an offense. Again, even... I'm having trouble seeing it in the monitor here. So, but the point is, you were probably able to read it. Let's take a look at Julie's uh, character real quick. Okay. Actually, I'll, I'll oh, you want to show it on my camera. Oh, all right. Because there's a certain way. Sometimes it will go out of. So Julie has piercing and cleave. Piercing means she ignores the first defense, and cleave means that if she hits one character, the other character will take a uh, another character in the same space will take one wound. You know, and she has four health two defense die, and three now. So she's a little smaller, smarter than, than Tank. Uh, all right, but the point is, the reason why I told you that is because if one of us loses all of our health, uh, we get knocked down. Uh, another character will have to revise us or use a healing potion, but then we go down one morale. If this happens four times, if we die, basically, we get knocked down four times, we lose the scenario. So, uh, and, and by the way, we're playing the basic side. If we're playing the advanced side, there actually is advantages that you get, like an extra defense or extra attack, uh, depending on where you are on the initiative scale. But we're not going to play the advanced side right now. No, because we're still learning, and yeah. I need it to be as basic as possible right now. All right, right so now. the grunts are first. Oh, poo. I'm next. Uh, and I'm now, next. we can change the order, Julie, if we t do actions. So let me just show the actions real quick. Cause, okay. Because last night when we, uh, well, the other day when we played, we basically only had to worry about move attack and melee and ranged. We didn't trade any items, but that's something else we can do. We each have two actions. We can step up and fall back, so that's how we can change the order, okay. uh, Julie. And then we can interact with a square, which we did. And yeah. we didn't need to rally. We did pretty good. We didn't have to worry yeah, about we did uh, well. getting, getting uh, we didn't get hurt too bad. All right. Hit the so. mouse is in the, there you go. All right, so All right. the grunts So we know first. what the initiative is. Yep. So one thing that you got to do is when it t comes time to activate a, uh, an enemy, you check to see if they can see you. So you go from the furthest corner of the tile to the other corner of the tile. And if it crosses darkness, uh, anything with red lines, which is an obstacle, or a full space, they'll be blocked. So because they can't see us, because it crosses the darkness, if we were here, they'd be able to see us. Yeah. And they, they, you can't see around corners, okay? Okay. You just can't do range attacks according to the rules. Okay. But they can't see us right now, so actually it was it was good that they went for, went first. Sure. So that means they're not engaged. Yeah. So they do nothing. Okay, good. So now we get to go. We can go so kick tank their butts. goes. Okay. Now tank, all characters have two actions. You'll see though that when we go up a level, we'll get plus one action. Mm. Also, when we go up a level, we're gonna have to spawn. And we'll get to that in a minute. We will definitely be going up a, at least one level. Oh, yeah. Uh, so he has two actions. If he does a move action, he can move two spaces. So he's going to go one, two. And his next action, he's going to do an attack. All right. So let me, because it was too small for me to read. <laughs> he has a shell slam. If he gets a crit 
crit on his attack roll, he causes a knockdown to the target, which means nice. they would have to use their action, next action to stand back up. Sweet. So let me show you the dice real quick. Okay. This is a ranged, which means That's for my character, I, I won't hit if I get that. Uh, axe, I will hit. Yep. Arranged again. Here is a crit, which means it's exploding dice, so I'll get to roll it again, so it will be one success, and then I get to roll it again. Yep. Here is a shield, which I'll use for defense, and an, 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 an axe. So there's three melee, uh, a half, a half the chance I'll hit with a melee attack. Julie will hit, well, actually more than half, because it's four six with the crit, so it's two thirds of a chance, 66% chance. And Julie will hit half the time with ranged weapons. Yep. All right, so and here we got our dice tray from the co component collector. So how do I know what to roll? Well, my item here says three dice. And uh, my shield doesn't come into effect until I get, so I'm gonna, maybe I have to defend. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so I got a crit. These nice. missed, so I did get a hit once possibly. Hit once. Nope. Nope. Now let me tell you why that didn't work out for, for uh for me. Even though I hit once, let's take a look here. Grunts have one defense. Mm -hmm. So I needed to hit twice to lo have them lose one health. So yeah. at least one health. So I missed. All right. Well, now it's going to be my turn. No, because now they're nope. going to hit me. Oh. So when the... Now it's time for the grunts. Oh, actually, yeah. I haven't you. gone yet. Yeah, you're right. You I know gone. I'm right. So you're going to have to move into range here. That's fine. No, I just can go right there and I can shoot. Right. Yeah. You go here. And then you can shoot through me. Hang yep. on, honey. You just knocked the whole thing. Oh, sorry. You got overexcited. I did, because I get to roll dice. All right, so because this area is not filled with four things, you can mm -hmm. see through me. Okay. All right, so you're going to, you did one action to move. Right. And, and now you have one action left. I get one action left, and I get to oh, uh, and, roll and, three dice. And by the way, you, you have to pick one target. So if I got a bunch of hits, they don't roll over into another oh, target. Oh, okay. Unless I had some ability that I got with a crit or something like that. Gotcha. Okay. So, all right. So, Julie's going to roll. Okay. Woo! I hit twice. No, okay. I hit once. No, you hit twice because, remember, you have piercing. Oh, that's right. It says piercing, right? Yes. Gain pierce with ranged weapons. All right. So, that means the first defense on the uh, grunt is ignored. Yes. So, when we get to the brute at the very end... He's a tough cookie. He'll, she'll have to uh, overcome one defense instead of two. Yeah. So the good thing is you hit twice. Yay. So we take two wounds here. It doesn't matter who it is right now. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, you don't have another attack. No. That's all right. All right. So that's our turn. We went in initiative order here. Okay. Now it's the grunt's turn. Ugh. So can these guys see us? No, because the no. red blocks it and this darkness blocks us right. here. So they're going to hit me. Oh, because you're so, the closest guy. Right, I'm the closest guy. They yeah. don't need to move because they're in what's called a close. Okay. The key word close means that you can be in the same square or adjacent and do a melee attack. Ah. Uh, now, do All you right. get to still roll your three dice? Well, what I get to roll is I get two defense. Yep. And I get plus one for my shield. Nice. And according to my ability here, if I get a crit, I cause one wound to close attacking enemy per crit. And it doesn't, that, and that, that doesn't mean that the defense applies. It says it applies a wound, not a hit. Okay. So that means I will wound them. Good. So here I go. And I failed. Oh, So that dude. means because there are two of them there, they uh, hit me, attack me twice. Let me show you here real quick. That means they had two hits. Oh. I got no deep uh, shields. Darn. So that means those hits become wounds. Ah, oh, poo. It's all right. I got, that's why I took this guy. He's got five. Right. So if I get down to, uh, if I take five wounds, then I'm knocked down, and then we'll lose one morale. All right. So. Now it's your turn to attack them. We go here. I'm next. And because I'm adjacent to them already, yeah. I just roll. Okay. And here's my hammer, my first attack. Come on, get him. Yay. Okay, two hits. Me hitting you, you hitting the floor. Okay, so he's. <laughs> so, this guy's gone. I'm sure some people know what that's from. Yay. So I got this guy, and now I go up one experience. Okay. So I move Do I get it. to go up one, too? No, that's only if oh. I go up a whole level, and then you will get one, too. Ah, uh, okay. See, i got to put these over here. All right. Okay. So that guy... He's gone. He's gone. toast. And so now I... 
You can go for the other guy. Attack the next guy. So I got this guy, now I'm attacking the next guy. Okay. Okay, a Ooh, crit. And a hit. One hit. And a hit. So I roll it again. Come on, baby. Three yes. successes, and the crit for my shell slam is that he gets knocked down. Well, isn't he dead? No, because he only took two hits. Remember, he absorbs oh, one. Oh, that's right. That's right. So he gets two hits. Okay. I'll just go in now, and finish him off. I think the off. knockdown is he's minus one defense, which it won't help you because you can't go negative defense. So when you look up uh, abilities in the rule book, you'll see there's a key word part. Uh, knockdown. Is it knockdown? Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Minus one defense until they stand back up. So that means that if you don't, if you don't kill him, uh, he will just stand up and okay. not be able to do anything. So I have to just kill him. Well, he's already at zero defense because of your piercing. Right. All right. So now Julie is going to go because she's next in order. I got right, he's two. Gone. He's toast. All right, so you go up one experience. So yes. show that on. Oh, we didn't even show what you rolled. So you go up one experience. Okay. He's gone. All right, so now you have a decision to make. All right. You can move here. Okay. Two spaces. And these guys still can't see you because of the stuff. Sure. So you want to move forward? Yeah. What the heck? Okay. So now that's the end of the initiative. We cycle back around. The grunts can't see anybody. So then it goes to me. Mm -hmm. Oopsie. Oh, Pushing wait. Me around. I could have. Oh, you know what you could have did? What's let's, that, babe? Let's go back in time. Why don't you explore the darkness? Sure, why not? Yeah. And then you can attack the and darkness. And I can attack the darkness. All right, so here we go. What yeah, I get? A treasure chest. Woohoo! All right, so when you go in yes. to a darkness with an action, you automatically get to pick up the treasure chest. What do I get? Although here, you would have to move in there. Oh. And then use an action to pick up that treasure chest. Oh. So what you get, we yes, draw, get, and we get. have the level one uh, deck. Oh. So because we're playing the scenario here, intro scenario, it's all level one. Okay. And if you look through here, there's all the scenarios up to a certain point are labeled like scenario 1.5, boss fight for level one. Oh. And then you get to scenario two here. And oh. that's when you use the level two treasure deck, and then there's an even a level three treasure deck. So there's, oh wow, geez, about probably 21 scenarios here. Oh I'm, my goodness, that's great. Yeah, a lot of lot of value. Heck yeah. All right, so here's your treasure, honey. Okie dokie. So why don't you show it on your, on, on your camera? All right, I get mind rack. It's a weapon and a spell. Crit causes confusion per crit, and I get four dice. It looks like, and it goes. In my hand. All right, so you can put it in your other hand because you have an open spot. All right. Uh, so let's look up what confusion is. So we haven't encountered this before. So it's not an item then? It is because it goes, it's a, it goes, in, it takes a, a, a hand. Red, just so you know, in the rule book here, when things that are red are weapons and spells and offhand objects, so they have to go in your hand. Okay. You have to have them readied. Oh. Okay, so one of the actions you can do is you can switch stuff up from here to here. But oh, right now okay. you don't have to worry about that because right. you only have two things. Right. So confuse. When an enemy model is affected by confuse, that enemy model attacks another enemy model in attack range and ignores the target's defense. That target's defense. Wow. So they just hit them and then it, that person doesn't get to defend. If there are multiple options for which enemy model, for the enemy model, the confused enemy attacks... It's up to the players to choose an enemy. Okay, so there's more than one type of creature that okay. you confuse, and we want to have to attack the the brute or the uh, caster. We can we can have them choose which one. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a good object. All right. So now oh, we're Julie. now Julie's done because I forgot about the darkness. So now the brutes go. They can't see us. Okay. And I move one, two. Okay. Now if I go here, they'll see me. Mm. And they'll move one, then attack, which I don't want them to do. So I'm going to stop there. Okay. Okay, for you, do you want to just one, two, and then maybe, well, they'll be able to see around corners and move up, but then they couldn't attack. Um, we can have them move up. Why don't you just put me with you, I guess? Well, for, for instance, if you go, actually, you can go one, two, 
But you can't shoot around corners, but then they're just going to move up one space. Oh, but then I can shoot them. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I'll be there because then I can I can use my weapon or my. But so you can't shoot range. them either. Oh, don't Okay, worry. so we cycle back around. Okay. We're not using all of our actions. It goes to grunts. They see you. Yeah. They move one space, but they can't attack you around the corner. Okay. You can't attack diagonally in this game. Okay. Okay, so they're done. All right. Uh, so let me take off the picture and picture here, and then I go. Yeah. I go one, two, and I get one attack. Okay. Okay. All right. So then I go to here. At least I can try to get one of them. Sure. Roll big. By the way, it would cost me an action to use the potion, and the potion would heal half rounded up, so I can get three lives back when I'm ready to use it. Oh, you got... Okay, I got a crit, so I'm going to knock down one. Yep. Two. Okay, three hits. Three. Uh, so they're dead. They absorb one. Oh, that's right. So it's two hit. Two at okay. ones. And then he gets knocked down. That guy is going to... A, well, I guess I should show it. <laughs> that guy got knocked down. He has yeah. one life left. Okay. He's going to hit me. Oh. So now I get to defend. Okay. Oh, wait. You get to go next. What am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. I keep on thinking in other games where you, know, you take turns. So now yes. you can move into here and okay. then fire once. All right. I got only one arrow, so he. Well, you did. Hit, you, you, if you, which guy were you going for? The guy that was. Sure, the one that's already. Well, you can't stand I, up. I wouldn't do that. I would have gone. You would have gone for that guy. All right. Well, then I'll go for that guy. Because the guy that's going to stand up won't be able to do anything to us. Oh, okay. Then I'll do the other guy. In other words, that was the more, the better thing to do. Okay. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Whatever you tell me to do, right, I'll do. All right. So you're done. Okay. Well, do you understand the logic? Because this guy's going to stand up and not attack anyway. Oh, okay. Okay. He yeah, basically. Yeah loses his turn, his oh, okay. action. Okay, got it. Okay, now it makes more sense. All right, so Thank now you. the grunts go. Yeah. This guy can't see us over here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that dude he stands, stands up, up and he doesn't do anything. This guy does attack you. me. Oh. So that's all right. That's go defense. I, well, he attacks the person in the highest initiative order. So because we're in the same square, Yeah. I'm the highest initiative. So oh, okay, me. I see. All right. Yeah, so yeah. that's good that we had that situation. Heck to yeah. That. Oh, All you right. got him, babe. Two hits and a crit. Oh, no, no, wait. I'm doing defense. Oh, you're doing defense. Darn. Okay, I defended on one. Okay. Two. I defended two, and I did a, uh, according to this, yep. that vicious counter crit. So I got a crit. Uh -huh. So I don't take any damage because he only does one oh, good. hit to me. Good. And I do one damage to him. Nice. All right. So there we go. All right. So now it's my turn. the grunts went. Now I go. Oh, oh, that was their turn. Excuse yeah. me. You're right. Now you get so to get them So now I'm going to do this guy. It doesn't matter which doesn't one I do matter first because they're both down to one. So yeah, you could get them both maybe. I could. So here I go. All right. Wow. And you didn't get anything. That's terrible. That was horrible. Okay, next action. Oh I attack my again. goodness. That's my kind of roll. There one hit, go, which means it doesn't it. do anything, but All he absorbs right. it. Okay, let me. So come now at let's it. see if you can get both of them. Let's go to your. All right, come camera. on, Finn. Woohoo! I got. I killed one of them. Okay. Because I have two arrows. All right, so you did kill. Pick one. I don't care. This one. Sure. Go up one experience. All righty, now I'm at two. And then I get to roll again, yes? Right, because you have a second attack. You okay. can get the other one. And I did not do very well. I did no. your kind of roll that you would make. Okay, so Sorry. that's okay. So now we're done with the initiative. It goes to okay. this grunt. Okay. This grunt's still alive. He attacks me. I get to roll three dice to try to To vend stop yourself? It. Okay. Oh, darn. I'm rolling bad. Can you roll again? No. Oh. So I basically failed. I take a hit Crud. because he does... He gives one hit that turns into a wound. I did not block that. Oh, hit. that's right. It's okay. Shoot. Now I go. Okay. Now you can get him. Yes, we'll make peace. <laughs> I don't think with so. With my hammer, I tap him. <laughs> you I give, attack him with the hammer? I give him a love tap. Oh, okay. Okay, so here I go. Just hard enough to get rid of him. And you did okay, it. Okay, he's done. Yay. I only needed to hit, you know, to do two damage. Good job, All right, babe. so I go up. So we're both at two experience. Nice. He's gone. Yay. I still have one action left. So are you going to move or are you just going to stay there? Well, you can move and hit him once. Sure. He only moved one space, so we're okay. Okay. I can go here. All right, move me then, so I can get him. Then you can attack him once. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so let's show it. 
I didn't. It didn't matter. No, I it hit. doesn't matter. You hit once because you got piercing. Oh, that's right. Okay. But he has a defense. Yes. You remember you ignored the first defense. Oh, all right. So you did hit him. Okay. Well, go Julie. All right. So let me show that real quick here. Because she, your piercing ignores her first defense. It only has one defense, so every hit you get counts. Oh, all right. All right, so you're done. Yeah, now he's going to hit us. The grunt goes. He, uh, it's going to go after you again, honey. No, he only goes one space. Oh, he doesn't hit us yet. Okay. Pretty sure he only moves one. You're making me doubt myself. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to doubt you. I should look it up anyway, just to make sure. I was so. just thinking he could hit us from there. Enemy movement. Yeah. Okay, so this is good because it's, it's based on the type and level of enemy. Okay. What does it say? It's based on just one space unless stated otherwise in the enemy stat card. All right. So, okay, so he only moves one. All right, so he moved. Yep. There's nothing for him to attack because you can't attack diagonally. Okay, that's right. All right, so then I go, I move. One space, and even though I could move him. too. Now, I could go into the darkness. No, don't no, go in the darkness. We're going to get that guy first. Yes. Okay. I attack the darkness. <laughs> Oops, hang on. <laughs> you have any Mountain Dew? All right. Oh, good job, All babe. right, so I, I give him one damage. I'm just Yay. laughing because I, I would say the other things. You can't say it. All right, so. <laughs> 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 All right, so he's got... He's down to one, but now you get to go because okay. you're next in order. Okay. Do and I move can, though but first? But you can't attack around corners. So I have to move, have to and move now one. I can I can roll twice. Yes. You know, you're only going to move only go once because you had to spend one action to move. Oh, okay. Here we go, guys. Oh, oh, ew. I got oh, that's him fine. though. You got yeah. Him. He's done. He's dead. Okay, so you go up an experience. What are you at? Three now? Yes. Are you there too, honey? Or are you at I'm four? At, I'm at two. Oh, you're still at two. That's okay. Okay. All right. So. Yes. Here we are. Enemies have been cleared, but we haven't cleared the darkness. Do we have to clear the darkness? Yes, oh. we have to clear the darkness to get to, to use the ladder. So I'm going to go okay. here. That's one action to move into there, one action to open the treasure. Okay. Hopefully, you get something good, honey. Let's see what I got. Okay, okay. Since you got the last treasure. Okay, the magic mirror. Ooh. Each crit defense roll causes one wound to ranged attack. That's good for me. I think I'll give up my shield for that. Okay. Uh, Are you sure, though? If you're yeah, because we okay. might get casters in the level below, and, and they'll fire at me, and I want to be able to uh, oh. uh, uh, have it reflect back on them. Okay. Okay, so Can, I've done my moves. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I move into that one? Or that one. It doesn't matter. Oh, either one. Just This is better because it's it would be harder for me to get to that okay, one. Okay, then I'll so do that, that one. one. Sure. What do I get? Uh-oh. Oh, a spawn. Oh, poo. So we spawn, mm -hmm. and it's going to be... Close to the closest one, which will be right here. Okay, what is it? One caster. Oh, so darn. this is why I switched it out. Now, can I shoot at him? Yeah, because you have another action left. Okay. But here's the thing about casters. Yeah. Let me show it on okay. the screen. Uh, you have minus one attack to heroes that are close. So you're right next to it. So you're going to have only two dice. And he has one defense, which you ignore, which you will ignore with your piercing. So you won't be able to kill him, but you might be able to wound him. Okay. Unless you get unless you get uh, crits. Okay. So you get two dice only. I got oh, two wow. arrows. That's great. You did two damage. Yay. Oh, okay. You know what I forgot to do? What did we forget to do? On the initiative, since yes. we killed all the brutes. Yes. The brute goes away. Oh, okay. We shift up. I will be first now. Oh. Since, but because you are last, the caster goes at the bottom. Now he's going to get to go. Oh, okay. And he will attack the closest one. Which is me. Which is you. Darn it. So he has, he's going to hit you once. Okay. And so for you. Do I you, get to roll for defense though? Yes. So you roll two dice. Two dice. Okay. If you want to get shields. Okay. Or crits. I got a crit. All right. So you're fine. Okay. And you don't have any defense effects. So I don't need to. No. It doesn't matter that you get crits right now. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, now you need to go help kill it, right? Yeah, so the caster's done. Now I go. Yes. So I'm going to step up one. That's one action. Now okay. I'm going to attack him. Okay. So I. Get three dice, though, yes? No, one, uh, one less die. Oh. Because, remember, he has that special ability. Yes. 
It's called Miasma. I guess it makes it sick. And I failed. No. All right, so I didn't do anything. So now it's my turn to try and right, so kick his butt again. You can just attack him from here. Okay. And you only get two. I got one. One, and that's fine. Piercing, yeah. that's all you needed. Did I kill him? Yep. Yay! So now for these guys, I'm pretty sure they're, they're, they give you one experience as well. Yeah, one experience point. So go up an experience point. It puts me in a whole new bracket. Okay, well, this happened sooner than the last time we played. Okay, which is that what, good? Well, what that means is, you know, you keep on moving this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's all right. It's minor. so exciting. Uh, so for so when one character goes up an experience, everybody else gets one experience. Well, go, I'm sorry. When one person goes up an experience level, yeah, everybody gets one experience. So nice. that's gonna get me closer. Oh, good, honey. Okay, I go. I'm now at. Three. So that's kind of like the catch-up mechanic in the game. Okay. And then, because you went up an experience, yeah. we have to spawn. Oh. Which is better that it happens here than it does down below when it happened last time. But where does it go? It's going to be next to you. Ah, shoot. So here we go. Okay. Be something easy. Two grunts. Ah, that's not too bad. All right. So do two grunts right here. All right. The caster's dead. Now do... And unfortunately, they're going to attack... But why? You're the one on top. Because they just got generated by you, and you're next in order. Oh. Okay. okay. So. Uh, so which one since, do they get? Since we're both in the same range, you're going to attack me because I'm at the top. Ah. Okay. And then this is, would have been good for me to have the shield. Sorry. Oh well. Sorry, so let's Jordan. go to. Uh, so the grunts attack me because I'm next. Uh, at the, the highest initiative. Don't order. you get three dice though? No, I only get two now because I'm not wearing, I don't have my shield. Oh. I got this for, for melee, uh, range attacks. Oh, 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 oh. I blocked one, so I take one hit. I'm almost dead. You need to use your potion and get yourself together there, yeah, sir. I might just do that. All right. So now it's the your... grunts went. Yeah. And again, they came up because Julie went up a level. And now Julie has I have plus, plus one, one action. action. She'll have three actions. So we should be able to get these guys. Yeah. Uh, but I'll go... First. Will I get to roll three dice again? Yeah. Okay, I'll put that So here we go, I'm rolling my three dice. All it's right. only against those casters that mess with you. Oh, okay, So got here's it. my first action. I'm going to attack one of the brutes. Get him, honey. Okay, Ooh, that's... Ooh, look at you go, baby. Two hits, because it yes. blocks the first one. Good so, job, babe. There we go. You get to roll again, man. I get to roll again. Can kill him. Hopefully I can get him. Get him, get him. We're making peace, Julie. Woo you didn't nope, get him. I didn't get him. Oh, man, now it's my job. Uh, yeah, I, this could be bad because I could die. Okay, well, I'm going to do my best I here. probably should have taken the potion. I get three oh, well. I get three actions, though. Oh, yeah, you might be able to get him. Okay, I got two. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so for crits for you, that means you're going to get a cleave damage. Okay. Okay, uh, let me read it again. Sure. To, to go over this. Yep. Uh, gain a cleave on crit. I don't think... I think you can only apply it once. One additional enemy causes one additional enemy within the same space as the target to automatically suffer one wound. Okay, because you got two crits. Yes. Uh, I kill one. And you get piercing as well. Let me see piercing again. Do you apply piercing to a cleave? Well, yeah, it's a ranged weapon. You're using a ranged weapon. All right, so... Thank goodness he's here, guys, because I wouldn't know what to do. So this guy, you... You uh, killed, okay? Yes. What about the other this dude? This guy is going to take two hits, and now you're going to roll those crits. Okay. He's already hit that guy three Had times, another four times. He's dead. I got both of them? Yeah, because yes. what happened was... Julie hit... Is aiming at this guy. Mm -hmm. She got a, a one range and two crits. The two crits caused cleave damage to this guy, killing him. This guy, those just those three hits. We had to roll again anyway. Basically, you killed two guys with one shot. Nice job, Julie. Way to go, Finn. So you go mm -hmm. up to experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm up to six now. I'm just cooking. All right. So. My little guy is awesome. He's like he reminds me of Rocket. All right, so 
That was your first action? Yes. So you can go one, two sure. for your second action and explore that darkness for your third. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Be a treasure. No. Ah. It's an event. <sighs> oh, you know what I did wrong? What did you do wrong? When I revealed this, yeah. it was supposed to be an event, not a spawn. Oh, uh, well, why don't we just switch well, him and pretend we... So if you're watching this, you're like, going, oh, you messed up. Yeah, I did. That's the way it goes. Yeah. It we'll happens. just assume that the event was a spawn, but now we were supposed to draw an event card with this. Now, why is it red? Because some, some scenarios require you to put red uh, darkness ones in the, in the predetermined deck, and when you draw it, it has to do with the, the uh, uh, scenario you're playing. So I should have drawn an event here, not spawned. So here we All go. Right. Here's your event. Okay. Lady of the Puddle. You see a siren looking back at you through a magical puddle. I'm supposed to check my knowledge. I draw my weapons and attempt to attack the puddle. The puddle turns into a geyser of water and launches you into the air. Take one wound and suffer. Well, you gotta do your knowledge. Well, I have to roll. Okay, so. You have three knowledge. So you gotta get crits. Uh, and I think for knowledge checks, let me look it up. I think shields, no, axes count. Let me look that up again. Okay. Yeah, you need axes and crits. Okay. I got three axes. Okay, so what happens when you get three? I get three. Uh, I attempt to communicate with her. She's pleased and gives me a gift. I draw one treasure card. Oh, that's nice. And so I get Mighty Gloves. It's an accessory, and I get plus one ATK. Attack. Attack. Huh. So that's only going to help you in melee. So I put it here, honey? Yeah, unless you want to give it to me, but then I give up my mirror. It's up to you. I'll be happy to give it to you if you want Well, it. green means that you don't have to you. Oh, no, you actually wear it. Oh, so does that mean I take away no, my No, you don't have to. It doesn't mean you have to equip it. It doesn't have a hand there. No, no hand. So when it's green, it's uh, an accessory. Yeah, it says it's accessory. You're passive. It. You may gain bonuses from multiple accessories. So it says plus one attack. So let me look up the keyword attack. Okay. Does that mean can you use it with ranged weapons? It's right there. See, I don't know if you get it with your crossbow. What does the, cro what does the item say again? It just says mighty gloves plus one attack and that it's an accessory. See, it doesn't say... Or not. Well, I should be able to use it. We're going to say you can. Okay. Maybe the mighty glove helps you draw your crossbow quicker. You know, who knows? Okay. Yeah. So it is maybe it is. we're not playing that right, but the rules aren't clear on that. And if you guys have played this and you know, please comment and let us know so we will learn ourselves. All right. So we've cleared everything. Yes, Even we Even though have. I messed up here and we did an extra spawn. Oh, it's well. okay. <laughs> uh, I still took care of him. So we can do whatever we want here right now. I'm going to use my potion. Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely. You need it. I use the potion. And because half of five is two and a half rounded up, I get three health back. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. That's great, babe. Now, maybe if you were playing, you know, the campaign, maybe I wouldn't want to use it. Maybe I would just it would be worth losing a morale. I don't know how morale goes from campaign to campaign. Yeah. Uh, but, again, we're going to do that. As, as if we're, we're playing this like a one shot. Okay. So now let's, we flip it over. Yes. So here's the fun part. <sighs> okay. Move over, guys. Move the spawn things. The the okay, stairs. Start. start. So we flip it over. Oh, there's another thing up there I missed, honey. That's okay. Minor. And we're going to need the end. Um, Hang on, i got to make Token sure I'm doing two. this the right way. Oh, yes. i got two green bubblies. There you go. Yeah. That's it. And then this. Goes down below. So now I have to shift this to get everything in the camera. Okay, hon. Oh, we're going to need that wall thing, too, yes. if I remember from the other day. Okay, so that goes here. All right. 
This goes down here. So exciting. Okay. Now the picture in picture won't be usable. That's all right. You guys don't need to see us. You know what we look like. We're cute. Uh huh. <laughs> We're when funny. it's just my cousin Vinny, where you're on the witness stand and you say, she's cute, isn't she? Oh, yeah. It's such a great movie. <laughs> I showed that. Every time I taught American government, I would show that for... That's a great movie. For jury do, uh, in fact, lawyers say that's one of the best movies to show people for, the process. Yeah, I think it's great. I so here I'm setting up the darkness. And if you want to see what I'm looking at, it's this. Okay. Uh... So we're coming out here. Where's that ladder? Oh, right here, honey. So here's the ladder. Here's the start to put by the ladder. Yes. I know. Where's and you put the end there? That's good. Now I'm gonna do so. There's less spawning points. Yes. Now one thing that we have that's different. Oh, not a potion. No. So now some yeah. potions can start on the on the scenario. Oh, okay. That'd be fun. And we don't get a treasure chest. All right. So that. We have a uh, a brute. Yep. And it's right here. That's the uh, silhouette for a brute. Now we the way we spawn again is that there's two of us and one large tile. So we still have to uh, draw three spawn tiles, and we start from the closest one, but clockwise. So it would be this one. Yep. Okay, right, so here we, we go. Two grunts. That's not too bad. Oh, by the way, there's water on here. So basically it costs, doesn't matter how many movement points you have left when you go into it, you, your movement ends, and it costs a whole action to come out of it. So it really slows you down. So there's two grunts. So let me add grunts to the initiative track. Okay. Then, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> a caster. This is why I have the mirror. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. So we add caster to the initiative track. Okay. And then we spawn. Oh, you know what? We forgot. What did we forget? Uh, because we're at level two. Yes. We get two grunts and one archer. Ah, so fun. See what happens when you go up a level two soon? That's okay. My guy's tough. Finn will, Finn will get And then him. here, it's not one caster, it's three archers. Oh, Bug. Here will be one brute. That's not too bad. That's not bad. Okay. Oh, and so we don't have a caster at all. No, we have archers. All right, so archers, this, we didn't get any last time. No. Attacks are ranged. They have zero defense, so they only have two health, so oh, they're easy to they're get easy to. easy to kill. So if I look at my mirror again, because remember I took this for, for a reason. Right, right. Each crit defense roll causes one wound to ranged attack per crit. So that's, I'm hoping that if they do hit me, and if they do attack me, that I roll crits, mm -hmm. and that they uh, get wounded in reverse. So I take these spawn cards off. Okay. So that's important, since you're at level two, that we were using the level two uh, spawn there. Right. All right, so we, we're down here. We generated the room. Uh, they came in. Now, it's, from where I read the rules, you don't reshuffle these. This is continuing over from the top side. These guys can't see the darkness. They can now, see us. Now, two corners, though, I don't think they can see. In other games, you can't see through two corners. Oh, okay. 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 This guy can see us. Yeah. But I go first. You do. And I'll just go into one, plop into the water here. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and let him come to me, but then he'll be able to attack me. So I'm not going to do anything. All right. But you can hit him. All right. Let's so, do this. Take him out. Let's uh, go to your screen there. I got two. Okay, so that's one hit. Yes. And I can no, do it again. No, it's actually two hits. I'm two sorry. Hits. Yeah, two hits. Could you ignore the first one? And then I get to roll again. Yes, you do. Actually, you get to roll three times. He's dead. All right, you got him. Go up another experience. And I'm at seven. All right. Way to go, Finn. You're my guy. Now, you can start moving through the water because you have... Uh, one more action. You can go well, here. wouldn't I want to go over there and get those guys? Well, remember, we're going to make the darkness. A, uh, we don't know what we're going to get there. Oh, that's true. We might true. get an event that messes you up. Okay, so. yeah, so bring me down this way. Okay, so the grunt goes. They can't see us. They can't see. Uh, 
the archers can't see you. Right. So then it's my turn again. One, two. Your turn. You can go here. Uh, one, mm -hmm. two. You would have another movement left. But, but I could shoot him through there. Yeah, exactly. You're just going to shoot him. Why don't we have this bear shark thing well, on the board, too? Oh, yeah. You're right. Do you find bear shark or Blue whatever? would be right here. Oh, he Blue. Already there. That's what it's called. Okay. Blue. But he can't see us either. Okay. You know what? Don't expose yourself. Because what's going to happen is you're only going to be able to hit once, and then they're going to do three attacks against you. Okay, so I just chill? Yeah, yeah, just just hide there. Why don't we make them move into the water? They only, they're not engaged yet. They have to see us to start moving. Oh. So that's why you're not going to expose yourself. Oh. Okay. So if we go to the brute, yeah. the grunt, and the archer, nobody can see us right now, then it okay. goes to me. Yeah. Uh, if I expose myself, I can start making my way there. Okay. One, two, because you can move two spaces. Can you attack them? No. Oh. And I will go here because oh. they're going to hit me no matter what. Oh, darn. Because I'm, I'm charging them. But right. for you, you go here and you'll at least get two attacks and maybe you maybe can, can get them. kill a couple of them. Okay. Come on, Finn. Careful how you're shaking <gasps> the whole table. I got two. All right. So the nice thing about them. Yes. They're easy to kill. They have no defense and they only have two wounds. So you got one. Yep. Got one. We do it okay, again. Go up, uh, go up one experience. Okay. I'm at eight. Okay, don't I'm keep trying your to elbows do. up. Yes. Oh, uh, I got that crit. Okay, roll the crit. Thing. That's good because you're going to get a, a, a bonus wound. So you kill another one? Yep. Okay, go up another. Uh, now I'm in nine. I'm in the new section. Are you really? Yep. Okay. You told so me to do it. No, that's fine. And then you did a piercing attack. And then I roll one more time, yes? No, because you moved. Oh. Okay. okay. So Julie... Just went up another level. Now, when she did that, I get two experience for that. No, one experience, I think. And this is where... That means you get to move up one, right? I th I'm pretty sure it's just one experience when someone else moves up. And then I'll be level one, f uh, level two, finally. I, she's Julie's killing everybody, which is fine. I'm having fun. Yeah, I'm okay with that because it's cooperative. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I love cooperative. Okay. Experience tier. All other heroes gain XP on the experience tier that has heroes reached. You're at tier three now, right? Uh, yes. So, I get two experience. Nice. So I look here. Now I'm at level one. You mean level now it's two. O level two. Now you only spawn the first time a player reaches that. Now because Julie mm. got to level three, we got to do two spawns. Oh darn. So. That's not cool. If you look here, uh, Julie got to here, yeah. so we got to spawn twice. Darn it. So let's go to here. That means they'll pop up here on you. Oh, man. And then, or well, closest to, then it goes clockwise. So they're going to pop up on you. All right. Bring it. Okay, and now you're at level three. You get three casters. Oh, that's nasty. Ah, oh, shooby doobies. And now that space is full. And I can't attack him yet, correct? No. Oh. And then we do another spawn. Darn it. And you're at level three. Three grunts oh. here. But it'd be full. Right, so they push. Okay. So this means we get to decide whether they can't go into the darkness, so they push into here. Okay. And make room for the other three grunts. I see. Which means they see me and they're going to start moving. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Well, they would have seen me anyway, I think. Yeah, they would have, no, because they would have crossed. No, they wouldn't the, have seen you yet, I right, So think. those got pushed out. Darn it. All right, so we got to add casters yeah. now to the... The little chart here. Okay. Ugh. So now we go in order. Okay. You just went. Yes. The brutes go. They come down. Okay. Oh, what am I doing That's here? an archer. We need another grunt. No, remember there were three archers, two archers and a thing, because I was in that one area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But the archer shouldn't move, too, because it's the, gr the yeah, grunt. Yeah, you're right. The grunts go. Okay. The brute doesn't go. He still can't see us. Okay. Because the darkness and the walls here. The grunts just went. Okay, the archers fire. 
both of these archers will fire at me because I'm the closest. Okay. So now I have to, now this is where having my mirror hopefully we'll do was worth doing it. I only get two dice though. Oh, darn. So I'm going to take two hits unless, oh, two crits. <laughs> nice. Not only do I block it. You kill them both. Uh, well, I get to roll again. I get one wound each. But that's get, all they need. I get, no, they take two. The archers? Yes. Oh. And then I get to roll again. Uh, you I didn't one. get crits, though. So if I would have gotten crits again, would I would have stacked up? I would assume so. But the point is, I blocked it, and it bounced back. Each crit defense roll causes one rune to ranged attacker per crit. To ranged attacker. But this is two attackers. So this is where I might not play this right. So I have to decide here. It says each crit roll, I roll two crits. Causes one rune to ranged attacker per crit. But there's two attackers. So I assume they each get two. That's just the way I'm going to play it. Yeah, so they and both die. Yep. So I that's like that why one. I took the mirror. Here's the dude's um, yeah. wound. Oh, I go up uh, two for that. Way mm -hmm. to go. You're catching up, babe. All right. So. Uh, Those are archers. Roots went, grunts went, archers went. Now casters. Now they're going to mess with you big uh. time. Now the casters. You won't be able to attack them, by the way, unless you move away because you're going to be minus three. Okay, I'll have to move away. Minus one attack to heroes that are close to any cat. Oh, any caster. It doesn't say it stacks. So now you've got to resist three uh, attacks here. Okay. So let's uh, roll now that. Now two dice. Three oh. hits. So you just got hit three times. I'm going to be dead. I only have four well, lives. I'm gonna, we're gonna, you're going to be able to fight back. All right. And you could always use your... Oh, i got to go show it on yours. You could always use your uh, potion. Okay. All right, so... Going back to initiative, we have a... Uh, it's your turn first. Oh, sorry about that. What am I doing? <laughs> Pressing too many buttons. Oh, no. Okay, Castor just went. All right, now it's back to me. Yep. Now, I can move back because well, I have three attacks now and help you, which I better do. So I'm going to move one, and then I'm going to attack twice. Okay. So here I go. Yeah, I get three with my my hammer. Okay. Oh, I only get two, so that one that rolled out doesn't count. Well, good. The reason I only get two is because I'm minus one for being uh, close to them. Oh, that's right. But I hit twice. Good. They have one armor. Darn it, so they only, I only did one damage. Mm -hmm. Now you know why I'm here to help. I know, appreciate okay, it. Okay, next one. Come on. A crit, Ooh, which nice. is good. So that's two successes. Three successes. Ooh, keep going, baby. Three successes. The guy will be dead. Nice. Uh, I would knock him down, if, but he's dead. Let's just get rid of him. So I get another one. Oh, and I'm almost up to the next Yay, level. Yay, you're catching up, babe. So notice I went back to help you. Oh, I appreciate that. One thing I forgot to do Yeah. is that when you... Uh, let me look this up. When you move... I might have had to make a dodge when I moved. Oh. If anybody is in range, is close. Hang on, let me look up dodge again. Okay. Because I moved with people in that had range attack. Hang on. All right, so one thing I forgot to do. Again, we haven't had to deal with this before. Sure. Because I moved back yeah. like this, I, I basically was, these ranged creatures get a chance to, to hit me. Uh -huh. Okay, so equal to my defense stat, which is two, mm -hmm. to see if I get to resist one hit. Okay. Okay. Equal to the heroes against one incoming hit. All right, so here I go. Okay. Because in other words, I was, if I was fighting somebody mm -hmm. and not moving, they wouldn't attack me, okay? Um, but because I'm moving and not attacking, they, they get basically a free attack on me. And 
I blocked it. Oh, thank you. Okay, so Good I, job, we babe. went a little out of order there, but okay. we had to do a dodge. Yeah. So now. Okay, move me away so I can then attack him. Well, then you don't have to roll a dodge. Hmm. And you would be, do? and you would be, and you would be one away anyway, and you'd still be minus one attack. Just use your three attacks right there. All right. So, oh, you know what you're forgetting to do though? What am I forgetting to do? First off, you're at the third level. Let's see what new stuff you get. Oh, okay. So I have to, well, because this text is so small, I have to read it like this. Favorite enemy. Pick one enemy type. Gain plus one attack against them. Jeez, you're going to pick casters or Casters? Grunts. Let me see if it's for the whole game. Maybe you got to do grunts. Oh. Because there's a lot of grunts. There are a lot of grunts. Favorite enemy. It is alphabetical. <laughs> Turn the page. No, nope, there's about no it. F. I'm from. So, I don't know. Is that for the whole game? Well, it could be for the whole game, but. Hunting reflex, you get plus one defense now, too. Nice, I need it. We'll play it for this whole scenario. Okay. Okay, so you. And do I get four dice now? Because I have that. Well, you have to use it. You're not using it. You've been using your other weapon. Oh, okay. So, here's the deal. Because you're about ready to, to die, you should pick casters. Okay. Okay. Casters. All right. And because you have this card here. I should roll four dice. Oh, what am I doing? Well, you got more, more than that, okay? So this is what's going to happen. Okay. Fix up your area there, please. I will be happy to. Okay, so what Julie has here, you get, she gets plus one attack. She's going to elect casters as her favorite enemy, okay? Then she has... She's going to use her mind wreck. Does that mean it does damage, though, the spell? Yeah, I don't know. If I get to roll no, four crit, dice. I guess it does damage anyway. Okay, and if you get crits. So now you got four. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Plus one, that's five attack. Plus one for this, you got six attack. So I roll six dice? Yeah, you're going to be rolling six dice. Okay. But because they're casters, you lose one of those dice. Oh, so I only get five dice. Right. All right. Okay, but you're going to do it, get to do it three times. Woo, look at that. So they're going to, you basically, uh, they have a defense of one. You get to pierce one. And because you did, so this guy's dead, okay? Okay. One guy's dead no matter what. Now do I re roll but those? But because you have. Cleave. So you also do three to the next guy because okay. you rolled three crits. So you kill two of them with one 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 attack. Look you're, at you're, me you're go. You have to re-roll. Look at me go. So you go up two experience. All right, now I'm at eleven. And uh, the casters are removed because they're going to mess you up. I know they're messing up. You still me have up. two more actions, so you can fire at these brutes. Sure. So you will get six dice against... No, you won't, because... Uh, let me explain why. They're not your favorite guy. Right. Okay. But you get four mm -hmm. plus one, five. So you'll get five. Okay. So this is your second action. Mm, that was poopy. Wow. Okay, try again. Better. Yeah, you killed one of them because you ignored the first. Don't difference. I reroll the cleave or the? Yeah, because you're going to do one crit? damage to that guy to the other guy too. All no, right, it didn't matter. So she kills this guy because it was three hits, and she ignores the first defense because she got a cleave. She also does one damage to this guy. Yay! All right, go Finn. So you killed a guy. Go up another experience. Where do you? Where are you at right now? Twelve. Okay. All you right. need to catch up, man. Well, it makes you wonder. We're going up experience pretty fast here with two characters. What, what happens in the next campaign? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we remove the uh, archers. Okay. The brute is still here. So you just went. Yeah. The brute goes. He still can't see us. Okay. The grunts go. He can this see guy, us. He goes one. Oh, okay. Well, he can go here. Okay. Escape the water and then go into here. That's what he'll do. All right. Well, it's only one space. It doesn't matter. And it's what about the space. other dudes? These guys can't see us yet. So are we going to move them in the water or just No, they there? can't see us. They don't do anything. Oh, okay. 
All right, so we cycle through. I go. Go get him, bud. I go here. I do have three actions still. Okay. You can get him. He already has one wound. You can knock him off. I hope so. I hope so, too. Nice. Okay, a crit. Okay, there was three hits. He's dead anyways. He absorbs one. He takes two. He only had one left. Way to go. I mean, two. I mean, he already was damaged once. So I go up. Okay, now I'm at level three. Woohoo! Hey. Now, because I went to level three, we yep. don't have to spawn because Julie already did that. So let me see my abilities here real quick. What do you get? We haven't gotten to this before. So, Golem Grip can ready two can ready two handed items in one hand. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Okay, hold the line while at the top of the initiative track, gain plus one defense. Nice. And I am. Yay! So there is a plus one defense counter we have in the box. Uh, I'll just use a die to show that. Okay. Because I don't feel like digging it out. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's honest. I like okay, that. Okay, so that was moving one, attacking one. Mm -hmm. You're going to see me anyway, so I might as well go here. All right. Get out of the water. Now you go. I have to be in the water. One. Can I see them? Two. Now I can. Now you can see them. Okay. You get one attack. And I you get, get five, five dice. dice. Maybe you'll get some cleaves here. I got four cleaves and no, one. No, you got axes don't matter for ranged. Oh. Oh, wait. Are you using this thing? Yeah. That causes confusion. So you'll see what that does in a minute. Go ahead and roll that. I didn't do okay, well. You did one hit. And because you're not, uh, I don't think you can get that ability with spells. It says range weapons. So maybe you don't want to so, use that. Okay. But we did. We did. So here, here is the deal. Because Julie was using a spell to get an extra attack die. She now doesn't have her pierced and cleave. So I didn't know what to do. Well, I think we're figuring this I out. I thought that was a... That's axes. That's melee. Oh. All right. So by switching the spells, you get the extra attack, but then you don't get your other other stuff because spells... Oh. Well, it says ranged weapon. I guess ranged weapon isn't the same as a spell. I would assume it's not. I'm very confused. Right. Well, the reason why it's confusing you, the way I'm interpreting this, and I could be wrong, this happens with ranged weapons. That's a weapon. Yeah. Okay, but you're using a spell. A spell is not a weapon. So you don't get those abilities. All right, well, okay. I, I already but, rolled. And... I know, that's fine. But you do get... I get to do anything to him? Oh, you get plus one defense, so let's mark that with a die, too. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, sure. Uh, you did hit for one. Yeah. And we might have messed up on that attack, but I think you did enough damage anyway. Okay. But did because I... you're using a spell, yeah. you don't get piercing anymore, so you didn't do anything. Darn but it. you did cause confusion. Okay, well, that's good. So confusion is... I caused confusion to myself. <laughs> Uh, let me turn on the picture of pictures. You know what I'm looking at here. Do, do, do. Enemy model ignores the attack's defense. Okay. Attacks another enemy model. So a brute's going to attack another brute. And they have one hit. So... I assume they just do one damage to to a, a neighbor, because okay. they don't roll dice. Okay. Well, that's good. At least one of well, them got yeah. hurt. Okay, so now we go down the initiative track. Now the brute goes. Brute doesn't go because you can't see us through the darkness. Right. The grunts go. They all move one. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. And now you have to go do something. All right. Then I goes back to me. So you I go, go attack into them. here. Yeah. And I still have two attacks left. You can get at least get one of them. I mean, he already has one. Yeah. So here I go. I have three. I don't get any additional stuff. Okay. It's looking. Ooh, nice. Well, that guy he's is going to die. And yep. He's going to get... It's too bad I don't have any damage that... I'll knock him down, but he's going to be dead anyway. Yeah, nice he's he's job, like super babe. dead. Okay. And so I would have gone after, I should have declared it, but I would have gone after the guy that wasn't. Well, no, to tell the truth, I would have gone after the guy that was wounded already. Yeah, might as well. So I go. But then don't you injure the other guy too? Uh, no, that's you. Oh. Okay, so I'm out. I go up one experience. Nice. Okay, I do my next attack. 
You can get another one, honey. Oh, one sweetie, crit. good job. Two crits. Three hits. Nice, he's dead. So no, because oh. he has a D4. Oh, defense. that's right. Gosh darn it, I keep forgetting. But I that. did knock him down. Good job, baby. Okay. All right, my turn to come in and clean up. Okay, and you can hit them all. I only use four dice, though, because so I'm using gonna, the... Yeah, so we're going to go back. Let's make sure we're away. doing this right. I'm going to use the crossbow. Yeah, so you get three. So four dice. Or four three dice. Four plus this. Yep, so go four ahead. Four dice? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. Well, it's still one hit. We, we, you weren't going to go after the guy that was No, I was going to go one the one okay, laying so down. Okay, so do your second attack. Okay. Because you can go the first defense. Okay, crit. Which means you wound the guy next to him. So he's dead. You're both dead. Go up to experience. Now I'm at 14. All right. All so, right. and you have one more action left. We don't necessarily want to go no. use it here, but you can get out of the water. Sure. Okay. So, uh, the brute still can't do anything because he's blocked off. Let's get this darkness first. Hey, wait. The granddad is gone. Oh, yeah. Let's go here. Okay. One. One, getting out. And explore I, the I don't want to explore because it could be something that happens that generates something. Oh. You go, why don't you just stay here? Okay. No, actually, it could be something that happens. So you go one, one here. Okay. Okay, now we go here. I'll move in. Okay. The brute still doesn't do anything. Okay, event. Ooh. Actually, you should have went in. You got better knowledge. <laughs> Arrow trap. Uh -oh. Well, it's good I did it because yeah. she could have gotten hurt. Exactly. Okay, you stepped on a pressure plate causing arrows to shoot from the wall. Oh, shoot. Check defense to avoid damage. Damage scales with scenario level. Okay. It's a level one scenario, so it's one hit. But don't, you have a protection of uh, damage. Yes. So I get three because I have one plus one defense. I'm at the top, so I get plus one. And I have normally two, so I get three dice. Okay. The crit stops it. All right, yes. so I didn't, I didn't get hit. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we're back to this. Now we can head back to the... And again, it doesn't matter. We're going to make sure that we have our full movement left. Okay. Because when we go in there, I'll we don't know what's going to happen. You know what you could do is take your take your potion. Okay. What's your, uh, your health? Uh, four. So you get two back, so you only have one wound. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if that's a good idea for playing the campaign. So if I go in there, you'll be able to shoot him still. Mm hmm But you can't shoot around a corner. Oh, no. Uh, you can't shoot around corners. Maybe you should go in. I'll go in. I'll be brave. Yeah, so you'll go in. I'll be brave. Treasure. Yes. So go ahead and... What'd you get? Winged Helm, plus one hit point may move one additional space per movement action. All right, so now you have five health, and you can have one helm uh, uh, equipped at a time, and it's passive. All right, that means okay. you don't have to worry about, you know, remembering what it does. All right, so Julie went in there. I still roll four you dice. You still have two uh, actions left. You have... This and this, so that's four. Okay. That does not gonna help that? you unless you get hit. Oh, all okay, right. So you can hit the brute twice. Okay. Now, real quick, let me show the brute stats right. on mine. So he has five health. He does two hits and he has two defense. So you ignore the first one defense. You're going to have to hit. The first hit's not going to do anything, basically. All right. All right, so... Oh, poo. You only hit once, which doesn't mean anything. Okay, now roll again, your third action. And you poo. didn't do anything. Dang it. All right, so here's the problem. Mm. You know what? We, we kind of messed up. Why? I had to be the one to go there. Oh, here, you take the winged tail then. You know why I had to go there? Why? Uh, because I was forgetting about turn order. Oh. Uh. So I, I get the helmet. Okay. okay. Yeah. You would have another attack. So I know we're going out of order, but big deal. Yeah. So I moved cares? in there. It's all for fun. Because the reason why you guys were changing is because 
I had first initiative. Why would we do go in that order? Oh, right. So I picked it up. We're still going to count your two actions. Sure, sure. I have two actions. You're going to have one more action left. Okay. I have three, only three attacks. Oh. I would have switched my shields. Okay. Even though I didn't do it. Again, I don't care if people say, like, you didn't do that before you went into the encounter. Well, we had it all the time we wanted before we went into the encounter. Yeah. Okay? And this it's is, just fun, this guys. Is not, this is supposed to be fun. Yeah. Knowing that the brute doesn't have range attacks, I'm not going to have my mirror uh, equipped. Okay? So uh, I get three attacks. So here I go. Not to be serious. It's supposed to be fun. Two. I'm going to knock him down. Good. That's three hits. Get him, honey. Oh, wait. I only rolled two of them over. <laughs> oh, you got him Four again. Four hits. You can kill him, babe. Five hits. He absorbs one. Two of the hits so because I don't have your times. piercing. I knock him down. Yes. So he's knocked down. Yay! He got hit for three. I can go in and get him. And now I get to go again because oh, okay. I have three actions. All right. You can kill You'd him. be at minus one defense, so you would have killed him anyway. So. Yeah. Uh, I hit uh, once. Does he he's minus one defense. He oh, absorbs right. it. He absorbs it. For you though, because remember you. Uh, you had an additional hit that didn't get absorbed, so you I would have hit him one more time. He's at four. Now I get now, to roll one more time. You get to roll one more time. Oh no, wait, because you move in there. Yeah. So you're done. Okay. Now it's his turn to attack us. Okay, so I know that was a little confusing. Because Julie would have moved in here, that would have been one action. She attacked twice, and because he's knocked down, he's minus one defense. And because she's also uh, ignores the first defense. Actually, he's, he's dead. Okay. No, he's dead because remember, we, we were, you hit, each time you attacked, each time you attacked, we had to take off the first hit. Okay. And you, you had an additional hit each time when you rolled. So he's dead. Oh, good. So you go up two. I'm going to the next section then. Really? Yep. I'm at 16 now. I thought we were done. He died. That means you're going to have to uh, spawn three. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, we're not going to do it. I don't want to do it. Can we just say we're done? Yes. Run? I'm getting tired. So, so this scenario is taking longer than it should. <laughs> it took way longer than the first time we played it. Yeah, because we kept on going up levels and spawning new stuff. So Technically, uh, Julie killing the brute, which is worth two experience, she goes up to the next level. And now we would spawn three more things. Let's just see what they are. Okay. All right. Let's see what they are. Uh, when you see my review, I said that this was fast. Yeah. <laughs> it, this one's that fast. This was not fast. I, I did it off our first game we played. Now it was we're fast. at, now since we're at uh, level three. <sighs> By the way, I go up one experience. I'm at 11 now. Okay. And then. Oh, wait, I go up two. I go up three, actually. I'm at level 13. Okay. We get one caster, two archers. It goes clockwise. And then here, three archers. This is actually not going to be that hard. Now, if I want, I will switch to my mirror. Let me just do a... Uh, oh, we're still doing this? Hang on. <laughs> Caster was first. Mm, and the archers. And the archers. That's it. All right. And because it's the end, let me just see uh, what would happen here. The casters would go. I'm first. I don't have my mirror equipped now because we didn't know you were going to go up a level, Julie. <laughs> what can I say? Finn, <laughs> Finn's a... Yeah, I know. He's a badass. So the casters go. I have plus one, def uh, plus one defense from the shield, plus one here. That's two. I get to roll four dice at least. Oh, that's good. Uh, so I roll for the two casters. I have to overcome two hits. You can do it. This caster can't see us. Okay, that's good. Okay. These archers can. They will fire. Mm. Okay. So I guess we are going to finish this. I blocked the two, so I'm okay. Okay. Okay, the archers, because they can see me, they don't have to move. They will fire at me. All right. 
And I have, I still get four dice again. Okay, good. And I have to overcome three hits. You can do it. That's one. Okay, oh, I did take darn. one. I did take one. Now, if I had the mirror, it would have bounced back and hurt and hit them. So and I'm hit down. them. All right, so that's the the archers, casters, and the archers. Now you go. Now we go. We're gonna we're gonna ba basically wail on them. Um, though, I'm um, first. I get minus one attack. I normally get three, so I'm only gonna get two. I get three actions. So here I go. Missed. Two hits. They have one defense. So I did damage one. Good. One. I get to go one more time. Okay. So it's three actions, right? I didn't, uh, this is my third time rolling, right? Yes. Well, I have one less. Okay. Okay. So he is dead because casters only have two life. So I killed him. Good. Now, I could have taken an action and equipped my mirror, but I forgot to do it. All right, so I'm at 14 now. Now, Julie, remember, you get your plus one a uh, attack. And then I'm in this, I guess, sniper, it says two. Yeah, let's see what your abilities are here. Let me do read it, it. Does it all add up? Like, it just compounds? Yeah, crits equals two times hits with ranged weapons. Volley, two actions, ranged text to area effect damage. So after you kill that uh, uh, caster, maybe that's what you'll do. All right. But right now, you get plus one attack because you've declared casters as your favorite enemy. You have three for your weapon and three for your gloves. So that's one, four, five, but you're minus one because you're next to them. I get four. So you get four. And you ignore the first defense, so you hit that guy once, and they only have one defense. Okay, roll again. Okay, you got a crit, and that counts as two hits. She's He's dead. dead. Okay, so go up one experience. You still have one attack. Unfortunately, you had to use both of your actions to kill that guy. If you mm -hmm. had two actions, you could have done an area of attack. Oh. So that's all right. You're just going to fire. And so it's still going to be four because they're not your favorite enemy. Who am I firing at? At the archers way okay. down uh, way down here at the end of the hallway. Oh, I only got one. Well, they only have a, def they have a defense of zero. So you did hit them for one. No, nope, you didn't kill them. Oh. You used a crit. Mm. Uh, because then you could have did extra damage and stuff like that. All right, so now... Caster's gone. Okay, good. Archers go. These well, guys the caster can't, can't be gone because oh, he's still right. over There's there. Oh, over there. You're right. So wait, we have to flip them. Yeah. Right. Caster doesn't activate. The archers do. All right. They just fire at me. I'm top of the initiative. Right. I get uh, three dice. Okay. No, four dice. Four dice. One for the shield. One for being that level. Mm-hmm. So I'm at the top of the initiative track and choose my character. Okay. So. Nice. Okay. And the crits don't matter for this because I don't have uh, my mirror readied. Darn it. Uh, so let me roll. I did block two hits. Uh, that's good. I have to roll them again. Three hits. I blocked all three. No good. damage. All right. So now. It's your turn. We're here. I'm, I'm, I go next. Yep. Now if I come around the corner, that means these guys are going to get to go. Well, you can't just so sit there. I'm going to ready my magic mirror. Okay, good. I'm going to switch. That's a good idea. And I'm going to start getting hit. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do anything. You know why? Why? Because you're just going to fire at him. Okay. And then we'll come around the corner. So I, I basically switch my mirror. Now, can I do five dice? Uh, no, do it's four? still four because you're not your favorite enemy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Pretty. Now, use your area attack. All right. So that is... When you get a crit. Yeah, so you're going to do a volley. Use your last two actions. That means you can hit every one of them. Okay. And it worked out. Every one of them takes three damage. So they're dead. Good. And you go up three experience. I'm at 20. Almost out. 
Yeah, it's interesting that we're, when you only play with two characters, how quickly you max out. Yeah. AOE is not in here. But I think I read it in a, uh, a thing how it works. I know what DOE is. Area effect. Oh. Uh. But uh. it applies to everybody. All right, so. Uh. I'm getting tired. Uh, okay. I'm getting yeah. punchy. This is, this is what happens when we. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the reason why we're hesitant to continue this is because Julie can take only about an hour. All right. And in fact, let me see. Am I running out of power? This is like way past my, my We're okay expiration on the date here. Let me make sure. My warranty is starting to okay. run out, as my grandmother would say. <laughs> All right. So now we uh, go through the initiative. <laughs> you just went. Yeah. The caster and the archer can't see us. Now, this is where I'll come around the corner. Come around the corner okay. and just kick some booty. Well, I'm going to have to charge them. Uh, well, okay. Gotta do what you got to do. That's one action to move into the water. Yeah. Second action. Third action, I will attack them. Yeah. Can I attack from the water? I hope so. Okay, we've been doing that. <laughs> exactly. I just had the thought. <laughs> you know what? In this game, we are going to attack in the water. I don't care what they say. <laughs> Doesn't say you can't. All right, good. Okay. So I have one action left, and I have my mirrors. Now i got to decide who I'm going to attack because I am going to be down one die You the anyway. caster. No, because you'll be able to, you, that's your favorite enemy. Oh, that's right. Then go for I'll the archers. I'll do it archers. for an archer. So I have three attack. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I only have two attack. Oh. I have to re-roll that. Re-roll, because that's the, cheating. Yeah. This is a stupid caster. There oh, it. darn I it. missed. All right, All right so turn. now you go. You move out and you have... Now, you can do an area effect. Yeah, I'll do that. Now, the problem with an area effect is how do you handle the fact that the caster has an additional die? It doesn't say. So we'll roll four dice for the archer. Okay. And then you roll an additional die for the caster. Okay, so you're only rolling four dice. You're going to roll four right now. So it doesn't matter. Uh, because with your ability, you, you get piercing damage. Yeah. The caster only has one. They're all dead. So again, you're like a machine gun. Finn's, it, Finn's you, cool. You, you got them all. Yeah. Can I did. go up three more Cause things? Because what, what Julie did is she went out here. She had two actions left, and she did her, her fourth level ability. Oops. Gosh darn it. <laughs> she did her uh, uh -oh, we're all fourth level ability, which is... Uh, Two actions, range attacks, do AOE damage. Okay. In other words, like kick butt. Right. So everything has been removed from the game. We actually did better than we did the first time last night. Everything has been destroyed. Yes. Now, you went up. You're almost I'm at, at 23. You're almost at max experience. Right. You keep on killing everything, which is fine. <laughs> now, what would happen for the next campaign? We're not playing another one. I know that one. Okay, not. good. But I want to know from the rules, because we've never, I mean, with us being so high up, you're almost at max. Yeah. We've got some good weapons. Yep. And I actually didn't really read these rules. <laughs> but I'm curious, now, since we're on camera, and if you've been watching the playthrough this long, you're probably curious to know, too. And we appreciate you staying with us the whole time. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you. We hope we've been entertaining for you. Made you okay. laugh. After winning a scenario, so there's a little story after you win, okay? Mm -hmm. We're not going to read that to you. Yeah, because we're doing this as a one-shot. But if it was a campaign, heroes would discard all one-shot items and tokens. So I guess any things that we didn't use. Reset their XP tracker to zero. Interesting. Hmm. Resetting the XP track to zero allows for players to try different hero abilities throughout different scenarios. Oh, are we only supposed to choose one of those abilities? Uh, Let's I see. Don't know. Did oh we play God. that wrong? Gosh, we are not playing this again. Oh, no, we're not playing it again, but uh. that's a pretty big rule to, to not do right. Let's see. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Let's see here. So it's, it's going to be on the hero's abilities. Starts with one ability at tier one. 
You only choose one ability. Well. Oh, dear God. So doing that cleave and piercing did change it. And me being able to do knockdown. Hmm. But we're only playing with two characters. So maybe we justify it by saying we're only playing with two characters. But then we had less spawns. All right. So that's a pretty big rule to overlook. All right. So let's continue reading the campaign rules. So I, I will say that at the beginning of this, but we played wrong. Okay. But it's only mentioned briefly at the very beginning here. You've got to remember that. It doesn't say on the quick reference, make sure you only choose one ability. Well, well, yeah, well. Okay. All right. We keep all items earned, though. Okay, that's good. We can trade items. That's about it. And there's a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. When all here, okay, defeat and counter all heroes gain, we gain one hit point. So uh, we get that. And then when we encounter a new, when we go into a new encounter, do we get more potions? Well, I'd hope so, because they only gave us one. If I already used it, then... I assume that we get uh, healing potions. We would okay. lose them at the end of the campaign, but we, we lose them. We'd right. lose them if we had any left, and we get them back the next time, right. as far as I'm reading it. All right, so one important rule, so you only get to pick one of those. That was exciting, huh? I like the way we played. <laughs> This yeah, is we a were Julie superstars. Way. We're superstars. This is a Julie way. Well, to play. here's here's how. But here's the thing, though. It did affect you with Pierce and Cleave. You did do some additional damage. I did. Okay. The favorite enemy. Definitely, you would have picked. You didn't have to worry about your plus one defense. You didn't get hit I after I that. Hit, yeah. And then with Sniper, we didn't apply that. No. But you did. But you did do the area effect. So the only time in the very beginning is when you were getting the Cleave and Pierce. So, you know. Whereas with me, I would have taken the knockdown. Okay? The knockdown was good. How many times did somebody hit me and they took one damage? It might have only happened once. Okay? So it was minor. It was minor if it happened once. And then the two-handed weapon. I don't have a two-handed weapon. I would have taken that. Hold the line. I would have taken the plus defense. So maybe at one time somebody hit me. Uh, a brute. I don't even know if that even happened, and, and, and it bounced back. So it might not even happen at all. Now, for you, you did do cleave a few times. So, but we also did a spawn incorrectly, generating more monsters. Mm -hmm. But then somebody could make the argument because you generated more monsters, you wanted more experience. Mm -hmm. But then it would have happened down below. Who knows? This was our way of playing it. <laughs> So that's what happens. Again, it was for fun. We screwed up, but you know what? You guys but, had a good time, didn't you? But that's a big that's a big rule I to know, only I mention know. briefly at the very beginning. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It would be All nice right. if the quick reference guide reminded yeah. you of that. And it doesn't. Well, you know what? I'm done. Okay. <laughs> you can tell Julie's done. She wants to take off her mic right now. I'm so done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done. Oh All right, so God. this is uh, the playthrough of A New Wander Story. Barnacle Bay. The Cult of Barnacle Bay. Please remember to subscribe and like. And if we get a hundred likes, we'll play uh, more scenarios for you. Sure we will. Yeah, but we'll, it will be quicker. Sure we will. No, we will. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> please do, please make nice comments and don't forget to subscribe and like. And yes, I already our... said that. That's oh, how yeah. tired you are. But anyways, I'm David. This is RP Gamepire. I'm Julie. Thanks again for playing with us. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.